quick. Yep. I quit my job, y'all. I quit. I quit. You know why? Because I felt like I was working to struggle. I know it sounds funny or whatever. But I was working and I never had any money. And people would be like, you got to manage your money better. Houseway, how? So, <clears throat> in July, around the end of July, the beginning of August, God put it on my heart. No, as a matter of fact, he told me, after October, you won't be working. And I was like, a row. okay. I'm, yeah, I was like, okay. And, but I was like, okay, God, you got to confirm this to me. You got to let me know that this is you and I'm not crazy. And I had a knowing and a peace. And before I quit my I put in my notice like a month and a half before I was going to leave. So my initial leave date was October the 1st. But I really didn't leave until October the 29th. Because <clears throat> I didn't want to just leave them out there like that. Because I, I was a medical assistant. And I had awesome doctors. I had like, I, I enjoyed working for the people that I worked for and the people that I worked with. So, and there were some other people that had already left and somebody that was leaving before me and the offer was just so short. So I was like, okay, I'll give you another month. Or, well, I finished out October, let's just say that. But yeah, and you know what? I have no regrets. I, it has allowed me the opportunity to be very creative. I have some things that I have going on that you will soon see. And I didn't even know about the great resignation. Everybody was talking about the great resignation. My um, my boss had said to me, he's like, well, yeah, this is the time of the great resignation. I was like, what is that? And he's like, well, there are so many people that because of the pandemic, they're turning in their resignation, you know, because the pandemic has shown them how important certain things are. Like, whether it be family or just stepping out doing what you've always desired to do. And one of the things I said to them was, if I don't step out, I will never know if I could do it. And I don't want to be the person that says, I wish I should have, could have, would have. So, I was determined not to be the person that said, I wish I should have, could have, would have. And I put fear to the side, and I did it. I, I, I did it. Like, <laughs> I, And it's been awesome. So, let me get, <clears throat> this is what I've been doing. So, I do Uber and Lyft occasionally, and I did a journal, so I was just playing around on the computer, and I released a journal on um, Amazon. I was looking at some videos, because I love to journal, and I was looking at some videos about journaling, and somebody, I saw this video, came across this video about low content books that you can release basically, essentially for free. You create them yourself. So I was just playing around and I released the journal. And the name of the journal, well, the title, the inside is blank, but the title of the journal is Now the Marriage or, or After the Wedding, the Marriage. I forgot, y'all. I forgot. But <clears throat> it's, it's, it's where you get to document your first year of marriage because the wedding is over, so now it's time for the marriage. And you document I suggest that one can document their experiences, their exchanges, you know, what happened in the, what, what's going on in the first year. And it allows you the opportunity at your anniversary to reflect on the things that you have learned about your spouse, about yourself, and about coming together as one. So, yeah, that's the first thing I did. And it's published, it's by Adam Ruddy, R-U-D-D-E-Y, Adam Ruddy. So, if you want to look it up. You can go look it up, Adam Ruddy, R-U-D-D-E-Y. And it's the only journal there. And I think it's, the, it's no, as of right now, it's the only thing that I have listed on Amazon. So, those of you who are getting married, <clears throat> you know, establishing a new partnership, check it out. But yeah, I just wanted to share that with y'all. I quit my job. And I will continue to update you all as to how it's going. But I have no regrets. This has afforded me the opportunity to be available for my children, especially my youngest child who's in high school. It feels good and I'm learning 
true wealth. Don't get me wrong. The money, you know, comes with it. But, like, true wealth is more than money. It's the ability, I feel like, to have the access to your time, to be able to spend time with your family and not have a concern about anything. Or if something comes up, you have the ability to take care of whatever may come up. Say for instance, somebody gets sick and uh, we used to be concerned about money. Now we're no longer concerned about money, but yet I'm available to where I can be there. So true wealth is more than money because then you have those people who are working these working jobs and they never get the time to spend with their family because they're working 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 these are the, the what some would consider rich people so they haven't had the opportunity to just be able to spend time with their family so my goal is true wealth the the life where the lord says i have come that you may have life and have it more abundantly where he said i desire that you prosper and be in good health even if your soul prosper that's my desire and I know for some people, wealth and riches and all of that is a matter of perspective. But I want, I want what God has for me. I want, and I come into agreement with what he has for me. So I would, you know, one thing I would tell anybody, don't be afraid. Don't allow the memory of your past to hold you hostage. Don't allow the possibility of what somebody else may think because it's your life. It's nobody else's life but your own. And a lot, I used to do this, be like, well, if I do this, they're going to think such and such and such about me. If I, you know, if I release this book, people going to think, but then if I continue, that's, that's, that's the inner me holding me hostage. I can't allow the me to hold me hostage. That's fear of me being concerned about what somebody else thinks. That ain't got nothing to do with me. What somebody else think about you has nothing to do with you. Especially when you know you're doing what you're supposed to do or whatever. That has nothing to do with you. And we hold ourselves back concerning ourselves with what everyone else thinks of us. I don't give a hill of bean at this point. Because I'll never accomplish everything that I should accomplish. One thing that I learned about Yeshua, whom we call Jesus... You could not hold him back from his destiny. I don't care how attached you was to him. He loved Peter. He loved all his disciples. But the minute Peter rose up against destiny and said, basically told him, no, you can't go. You can't die. You can't go to the cross. No, now you come against my destiny. So I rebuke you. And he was, spoken, he was speaking to that, the enemy within him. So that was kind of trying to come against his destiny. You have to set all feelings to the side and live for you. You have to set all feelings to the side and sacrifice for the things that you know that you are supposed to be doing. It has nothing to do with anybody else. Because if we continue to worry about what everybody else thinks or what everybody else is doing, you'll never get it done. Okay? So, just wanted to tell y'all, that is where I am. And I like it. I love it, as a matter of fact. There have been days, it's, this, it's a lot that's went on since then. So, I can't, <clears throat> there, was, there was a point where I was like, ugh, I, I ain't thinking about going back to work though. I ain't think. I was like, okay, so what are we about to do? I did not consider going back, I have not, and won't consider going back on any to job other than my own. If I'm going to do some work, it's going to be for me. So, y'all be be watchful because before you know it you're gonna be looking back at this video saying i remember when she <laughs> purr <laughs> all right thank you y'all thanks for watching and talk soon